Dennis with Denmores and WiseAutoFools.com. One of the common problems with the Ford three valve engines is broken spark plugs. Uh, a lot of times when you're removing the spark plugs, they end up seizing because of uh, excessive carbon buildup, and they end up coming out a lot of times like this one right here. Uh, this is the, the long uh, M16 by 1.5 spark plug with the long electrode shield which is missing on this particular plug uh, but it's a common problem breaking a lot of times you can use the Lyle 65600 to remove the broken spark plugs this is our best uh, seller, top seller for many years removing the broken spark plugs in the three valve engines um, one Ford TSB uh, ends up telling you to use a torque wrench and uh, to remove the spark plug by removing it uh, a little bit at a time, tightening it up, loosening it, and using the torque wrench to not put excessive pressure to break the spark plug. Uh, a lot of times that works. Uh, there's also the OTC 6918 which works well for removing them without breaking them. Uh, one problem though uh, sometimes is that no matter how careful you are sometimes the threads do get damaged. If the threads are damaged in the Ford 3 valve engine then you can't use just a regular spark plug thread repair kit. Um, for instance you can't use the 38900 kit like this one because this is for the M14 by 1.25 uh, so since you can't use that um, Calvan has a 39300 kit and this is specifically for the three valve engines. It's M16 by 1.5. So it's made specifically for that application and works very well for that. Uh, one of the common questions that we have with this kit though is uh, the guys will get these insert or get the kit in in, uh, in their shop, pull out an insert and go to thread the spark plug in to try it out first. I would too. I'd try it out before I uh, went to the trouble to install the insert. You want to make sure that the spark plug actually fits the insert that you're installing. Um, however, whenever you try to uh, screw the spark plug in, it will screw in so far that it doesn't look right. The, uh, the wrench flats for the socket that uh, on the spark plug end up going into the insert so a lot, a lot of uh, times the guys will call us up and say hey you know this is the wrong insert well unlike the 38900 like the first kit that I showed you uh, it has the tapered seat within the insert so you can you can try fitment of the spark plug into the insert with it but on the 3 valve the tapered part of the spark plug actually seats down in the head and not in the insert so it's a common uh, misconception or, pro or problem um, people think that this isn't the right insert in fact it is uh, you can check the threads with the spark plug but you can't check how far it goes down into the insert because it does not seat in the insert it seats in the head um, another common question that we have with this uh, 39300 kit is uh, why doesn't it have the uh, Calvan 389-4000 leak test tester? Um, they decided not to include it in this kit, and I'll tell you the truth, I'm I'm puzzled why. Uh, the The purpose of this is to help determine that the valves are closed in the engine uh, or in the particular cylinder that you're working on to isolate the metal chips. Well, if it makes sense to do that on one engine, uh, why wouldn't it make sense to do it on others? So, even though the kit, the 39300 kit, does not come with this valve uh, to help determine that the valves are closed, to isolate the cylinder there, and to help keep the chips from going further into the engine when you blow it out, um, even though it doesn't come with it, uh, I would suggest purchasing this as well. Uh, you, you can determine that the valves are closed in other, other ways. This is a lot simpler way because you don't have to remove the valve cover to, uh, to see if the valves are closed. 
So we have this available, the Calvin 389-4000. You can buy this at the same time you buy the 39300 kit from us. Uh, another thing that we also do that other, other sellers won't do is uh, we supply extra tips. If you've never done the job before, you um, may find it helpful to read over the tips that we supply once you purchase with us at denwarstools.com or wiseoutertools.com and you write in the comment section tips then we will also email you tips uh, for just uh, common practices and things that we've learned over the years of selling the kits that will be helpful to help have a uh, positive out outcome on your job there. Uh, so this kit also uh, it is also labeled as different kits as well. This one is a Calvan 39300. You may also see it as the ATD 5410, and uh, even Snap-on sells it as a Blue Point FRT12. So, if you have any questions or concerns on uh, any of the, the tools that I mentioned here today, or if you just need replacement inserts for the 38900 um, or the 39300, we have the replacement inserts available. So uh, visit one of our websites, denmorestools.com or wiseoutertools.com or give us a call at 800-524-9783. Hey, remember to subscribe or comment and uh, visit our websites at denmorestools.com and wiseoutertools.com.